Hey, just one. Welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So today I saw the Cool Miss Mara here. And basically what this is, is a coffee table that you guys actually raise up the table, which you'll see what I mean in a second. But this is from this barrier here. And this is basically what the packaging looks like. Let me actually open it up and show you guys what's included inside first. All right, so you guys first open the product and you see that it's all nicely packaged and it has all this protection layer right here. So let me actually take everything out first. All right, so when you guys take everything out, this is basically what's included inside. So there's all these different parts here that you guys have to assemble. And right here is the instruction manual. And right here are all the different parts of all the different screws right here that you want to use. And all of them have a different number on them so that you guys know which one to put for which uh, section. But let's take a look at the instruction manual and see how to set it up. So there's definitely a lot of different screws right here, but all of them have like a ladder and number on here. So that way you guys know which one is for which part. So they were number three and number five on here. And we'll also work on number eight, which we'll work on in a second. We want to work on these first. And they don't provide you guys screwdrivers, so you need to bring your own. So you basically want to put it in the white one right here. All right, so we just finished our first one. We're going to do the same thing for other ones as well. All right, so we just finished putting the screws into these right here, which would be number five and number three. So what we want to do now is work on step number two. So basically step number two, you're going to need number four and number six. And we also need letter C right here to actually screw it in. So let's do that. So this is number four right here. So basically number four will go to number three and number six will go to number five. So when you guys install this part right here, there's these two holes in the bottom. So we're gonna put these inside right here. And then you basically wanna put the C screw right here into this hole. So just like that, you guys wanna screw it to the right side. And when you guys put it in, you guys wanna make sure the bottom part fits inside the screw. So you see that part right there. So you guys wanna make sure that fit inside the screw head, which is inside right here. Do the same thing for other one as well. All right, so once you guys have it in, this is basically what it looks like right here and right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all the other ones and then show you guys what it looks like once we're done. All right, so this is basically what it actually looks like once you guys finish this part right here. So what I wanna do next is to get number 10 and we'll put it into number eight right here. So you basically wanna do the same thing where I put it inside right here. And then you get letter C right here and I screw it in. So you basically wanna do the same thing as the other part that I just showed you guys. And once you guys finish this part right here, you guys wanna tilt it up this way. And you want to get the A screw, so let's get that first as well. And here is number 9. So 9 will go on this side, and number 7 will go on this side. So basically, I want to screw it in right here. Alright, let's screw it in. You want to do the same thing for the other side as well. Alright, so once you guys finish that step, what you want to do next is get number 11 and slide it into right here. So basically, you just want to slide this inside right here. So once you guys got that in, then you guys want to put the other side of number 8 on here. And then you basically want to put number 8 right on top right here. Alright, so once you guys got this on here, you guys want to screw this part in. And then you guys want to use the 8 screws right here as well. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well. Alright, so once you guys finish that part, you have to work on the next step. Alright, so what we want to do next is get number two right here. And you basically want to put it inside right here. And you basically want to do the same thing where you guys get the C screw and put it inside right here. So we'll start with this one right here. So once you guys finish that step, you guys want to get G screws and put it onto the side. And you want to do the same thing for the other side as well. So what we want to do next is get this part right here and put it onto right here. And we'll use the F screw to screw it in. All right, so we got the screws in. Let's use the screwdriver to screw it in. All right, so what you're gonna do next is put these on top right here and same thing for the other side as well. And then you basically want to get the F screw to screw it inside right here on the top part and right here as well. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing for the other side as well. All right, so once you guys finish that part, you guys want to put the C screws inside right here to hold the bottom part. And you want to do the same thing for the other side as well. So once you guys finish that part, you guys want to get the G screws and actually screw it on the side. So right here. So you want to do the same thing for the other side as well. All right, so once you guys have done this part, you guys want to lift it up and work on the other board right there. Alright, so we cleaned up the mess and this is the only thing left that I have to do. So first thing I have to do is get this part right here. 
and you guys want to get a little spring to put it on here. So you basically want to pull it open like this, and you basically want to put this one right here and stretch it to the other side, just like that. And that way you guys have a spring option right here. And you basically want to do the same thing for the other one as well. Just open it up, pull this part right here, the other side. All right. And then you guys want to get the D screw to actually screw it on for both of them. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other one as well. All right, so the next thing I want to do is stick this on top of the table right here, so that we actually give that protection on the table, so that we won't scratch anything on here. Once you guys finish that, then you guys can actually put this on top, and you need two people to actually set it up. All right, so what you want to do now is to lift up the product and put it right here, so that way you guys can actually screw it into both sides right here. So this should be a total of eight right here and eight on the other side, and you want to screw it right here. So let's lift it up. All right, so once you guys have it right here, then you guys want to screw the screw inside both sides. So you basically just want to screw both sides right here and also this side as well. So it's going to be hard for me to multitask and actually record it. So I'm actually finished screwing it first and then show you guys how the product works. All right, so basically once you guys finish setting the product, this is basically what the product looks like. So when you guys want to bring it up, you can bring it up really easy just like this. And if you guys want to push back down, you try to go like this. So you can see when it actually goes down, it actually goes down very smoothly. But when you bring it up, it comes up really aggressively because of the spring inside. You can see. But basically, you can use the table right here as a coffee table to put other stuff as well. But inside right here, you can store stuff. And also, you do have the bottom layer right here to store stuff as well. And the bottom right here, they don't have any wheels. So when you guys move it around, you definitely want to be careful to not scratch like the floor or whatever. But this is basically what the product looks like once you guys fully set it up. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So the overall table is definitely pretty low, it's not like super high or anything, which is pretty normal because it's perfect for like a softer table level. But if you have to try and look for a higher table, then you probably want to get a different type of table. But for the one that we have right here, I still would have to say that it is worth it because it has so many different storage space inside right here, the bottom layer here. You definitely have the top layer to put stuff as well. And very spacious, so if you guys want to play like board games or whatever, you can definitely do all of that on here. I definitely love how they have all these protection layers right here in the corner, so that way I actually give you guys the protection when you push it up and push it back down. But either way, I would definitely have to say that this product is super worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.